Recently, Apple discontinued its line of white unibody MacBooks in favor of the new MacBook Airs. And if you're an owner of one of these discontinued MacBooks, you might be thinking that it's high time you ditched your machine in favor of something new. But let's not be too hasty. These guys have something that the new MacBook Airs don't, and that's expandability. These MacBooks can be upgraded to 8 gigs of RAM and a whopping 1 terabyte internal drive, which is simply not the case for the new MacBook Airs. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to really get your money's worth out of a white unibody MacBook by upgrading both its hard drive and its RAM. As usual, this video is a great overview of the process, but no self-repair person worth his or her salt would ever perform a repair without having the repair guide open in front of them. So I highly encourage you to browse on over to ifixit.com and pull up the repair guide for your specific machine. That all being said, I'm going to get my parts and tools together so I can get started. For this repair, I'll need a Phillips 00 screwdriver, a T6 Torx driver, and a plastic spudger. Now, rather than getting the screwdriver separately, you might go for something like one of our bid driver kits. I'm using the 54 piece, but the 26 piece would do just as well. You're also going to need your replacement RAM and hard drive, depending on which one you're upgrading. To get started, we're gonna flip the computer over and begin to remove the lower case by taking out all eight Phillips screws that are holding it in place. With all of the screws out, we're gonna to start to take off the lower case by prying it up towards the rear of the computer near the hinge and rotating it towards you. You kinda of wanna be gentle though. There we go. With the lower case off, we get our first glimpse of the inside of the MacBook. The first thing on our list to do is disconnect the battery and that's held in place with a little cable here and we're just gonna use the flat end of our spudger to kind of pry up one side and then the other kind of rocking it up and out of place. Now that the battery's disconnected, we don't have to worry about any random power surges when we're performing our upgrades. The first one we're gonna do is the RAM. To get started, you can use your fingers or the pointy end of your spudger to release the little locking mechanism that's holding the RAM in place. And when it pops up like that, you can just pull it straight out. When you're reinserting it, don't forget to put it back in at an angle and then push it down until it snaps into place. With the RAM done, we're already halfway through with our repair and we can move on to the hard drive. To get started with that, we just need to remove this bracket, which is held in place by two retaining screws. They're called retaining screws because they're not going to come all the way out. With the bracket out, the hard drive should just lift right out of the computer. But be careful because it's still attached to the logic board via this ribbon cable. So I'll just disconnect that. The last thing we need to do is transfer these retaining posts from our old hard drive to our new hard drive. And that's what you're going to need your T6 Torx bit for. Of course, you can find all of the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into any problems setting up your new hard drive, we made a video that will walk you through the process and you can find a link for it right there. For all the latest teardowns and repair videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com ifixit. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.